I'm here at Tiny Green Organic Farm where Dustin and his crew turn invasive plants into healthy and nutritional food for the community. I'm here at Illinois Maker Lab where the action takes place. Maker girls come here to learn about women in science and can even go home with their own personal knickknack made with 3D printing. With the increasing number of shootings in the Champaign area, some residents are worried about the safety of their children. I'm here at Douglas Park, not too far from Booker T. Washington Elementary School, where just a few weeks ago shots were fired nearby. And you don't have to stay home for your unofficial. You can enjoy a nice night out at the Union, snacks included. The 17th annual Eberfest is officially underway at the Virginia Theater in Champaign. UI7's Hank Pender has more on the man that is responsible for making all of the theater's events run smoothly. It's about to get much easier to access the SafeWalks program. Students can download a new app for their mobile phone to request a safe way home. The requests made through the app will go to the student patrol office. And he makes sure that as he grows, the community does too. UI7's Robin Neal helps you get to know this neighbor with flavor. In Champaign, the engineering open house wasn't the only event that got kids excited. Inside of U of I's Maker Lab, budding engineers are using top technology to make fashionable accessories and toys at Maker Girl's first workshop. Maker Girl is a program that encourages young girls ages 7 to 10 to get into the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. Maker Girl wants girls to have fun uh, making things. The goal of Maker Girl is that by 2025, um, there's equality in leadership positions, mostly in STEM fields. I'm here at Illinois Maker Lab where the action takes place. Maker girls come here to learn about women in science and can even go home with their own personal knickknack made with 3D printing. Not only do these girls learn more about technology and science, they learn about working together and female empowerment. While some little girls enjoy playing with princess dolls and barrettes, some like to make their own barrettes using 3D printing technology, all while doing it in a skirt. Like Addie, who at the age of six had already built her first computer. Or Isabel, who has big plans to be a scientist to help make the world a better place and explains why she likes about Maker Girl. I like that I learned a lot of stuff today and it's really cool. I'd love to come here again. And along with these girls are encouraging parents behind them, rooting them on. And it allows young girls to be able to be creative, to be thoughtful, and allows their dreams to be built. Maker Girl sessions happen every few weeks and sign up is easy. And who knows, this team may be training your girl to be the next super scientist. In Champaign, I'm Taylor Polidor, UI7 News. Top with mixed berries like goji berry, golden berry, raisins, In Urbana blueberry. on Tiny Green's organic farm, Dustin Kelly is making a healthy snack. Autumn berry fruit leather. Fruit leather is dried fruit pureed in a sheet form, kind of like a healthier version of a fruit roll-up. But that's not all Kelly is interested in. I'm a nature lover. I love food and I love uh, entrepreneurism. Kelly makes all kinds of fruit leather with different kinds of nuts and seeds and he even has some with chocolate. But his goal isn't only to make this healthy snack. He's more interested in helping the community through the use of his everyday surroundings. I'm here at Tiny Green Organic Farm where Dustin and his crew turn invasive plants into healthy and nutritional food for the community. And Kelly doesn't think of those plants as intrusive. He thinks that all of nature is beneficial to everyone. So I believe by bringing a little bit of understanding to our relationship to the plants and animals around us, it can be good for ourselves. Thanks to practicing yoga, Kelly understands the balance between Mother Nature and man and how together we can make something great. It starts with a desire for more people to be healthy and happy and have access to really good um, organic wild food. But then it goes beyond that to appreciate the land and its many uses. And along with him is his partner in crime, Sean Simmons, who came all the way from Seattle to help make use of these often neglected plants. Working with Kelly, he knows how important this is to him. I, I know about all the time that he puts into this. It's not easy, and so that's how I can tell that he's really passionate about it. With hard work, they have high hopes for fruit leather. In Urbana, I'm Taylor Polidor, UI7 News. <laughs> Champaign is a city that is known for its beauty, its world-class education, and its safe neighborhoods. But lately, it's been getting a bad reputation due to the rising number of shootings around the city. 
Over the last 10 months, Champaign has had eight homicides along with over 51 calls to the police about other shootings in the area. Residents of Champaign, like Dennis Pelmore, think that it's not only up to the police to stop the violence, it starts in the home. I'm actually hoping that the parents can police their kids and police their family members a little bit more. That will help the police out and help the mayor out. I know the mayor won't have as much to be able to do. They can implement more rules, more regulations. They can put more police on the street. But at the end of the day, it still comes down to the families having to police, to police their families. With the increasing number of shootings in the Champaign area, some residents are worried about the safety of their children. I'm here at Douglas Park, not too far from Booker T. Washington Elementary School, where just a few weeks ago, shots were fired nearby. Yesterday, I was able to talk to the new mayor-elect, Deborah Finan, about what the community plans to do to stop the violence. Our Champaign Police Department is actually starting a series of community meetings, and the first one begins tonight at the Alina Union. And they are going to be um, holding community meetings throughout um, the city of Champaign to start getting input for citizens. Finan also said that these issues can be a result of poor economic development in lower income parts of Champaign, as well as the increase of drugs like heroin, which has been a rising problem in recent months. With the new community meetings and the development of jobs in the near future, citizens of Champaign are hoping to stop the violence and take back their good reputation. In Champaign, I'm Taylor Polidor, UI7 News. I'm Taylor Polidor, and the weather is nice for now. Find out what accessories you'll need for the Illinois Marathon this weekend. Your UI7 News starts now. Buzzer beaters, bracket busters, and Cinderella stories can only mean one thing, March Madness. A trio of U of I students are putting their heads together on a new robot for your cat. UI7 Angela Headley has the story. It's been a roller coaster ride of emotions for Illini men's basketball coach John Gross this past week. Making up for the loss against Alabama in the NIT, Gross's wife, Allison, gave birth to baby girl, Kate Eileen Gross. As you can see, the current temperature in Champaign-Urbana is right about 57 degrees. When you go up north in Kankakee, it's 53 degrees. And as I step over here, you can see 63 degrees in Jacksonville. A while Activists are not only lending a hand to area residents, but they're also trying to help other people from other countries. UI7's Izu has a story of a person who's dedicated to helping the Chinese in Champaign-Urbana's community. The Illini women's gymnastics team will be competing in the Big Ten Championship in Ann Arbor, Michigan this Saturday. 